Okay, uh, it's Paul over Silva 101. Um, I just got woken up with uh, some, some crazy shit. Uh, um, yeah, a couple things. Um, uh, I guess something happened between one of my uh, one of my good friends and and unfortunately his his uh, baby's mother and and their son. So uh, God be with them. I hope I hope everything turns out well. Um, most of my videos are MMA oriented, but um, this one is uh, this one's very personal, and uh, I hope you all can appreciate it. Um, yeah, I've gone through some things with um with with my son and and uh, his mother, and hopefully um she'll be okay too. Um, only time will tell, and only God will uh, will um will allow things to to fall into place. Um. Anyway, um, a little just a tad of. MMA news: Chris Lieben failed his um, his drug test uh, following uh, his fight with Mark Munoz. Uh, he's been suspended for a year, and uh, Dana White is uh, absolutely he's actually uh, quite lenient uh, with Chris. Um, so uh, he says to Chris that. You know, hopefully uh, th this may help him out, you know. Uh, I don't know. Chris has had his substance abuse problems, as have I. So, um, uh, I guess he tested positive for Percocet. Um, it, in case no one knows what Percocet is, it's uh, oxycodone. It's, um, it's uh, about two steps up from, from, uh, uh, like it in and one step down from um, uh, Oxycontin. So uh, Chris was taking um, prior to uh, entering the Octagon. Apparently he was taking some painkillers. And uh, it, it, if you look at my videos prior to this, I said um, Chris wasn't Chris. He wasn't Chris. There was something wrong. He just wasn't Chris. And we just found out uh, today that uh, yeah, he failed his uh, he failed his drug screen. Um, so Chris relapsed. Uh, Chris Levin relapsed. He's back on drugs. He was suspended for a year. Um, he's not fired from the UFC as of yet. But um, you know we have yet to to see what you know. Um, the athletic commission has to say what what his manager has to say what what you know he, he's going to get a lot of backlash for it you know this is this isn't the first time that Chris Levin has tested positive for some sort of banned substance um, going into a fight um, I, personally you know being through the, the the whole addiction thing myself coming out of it and uh, again like I always say you know. I'm a legitimate blue belt, and it took me a long time to get there. Um, it took me a long, long time to, uh, even longer, to, to to kick my addiction. So I can relate with Chris Levin and um, my prayers and and uh, and uh, and my hopes and prayers go out to Levin's family, him himself, his career, his uh, everything he's done for us, all the great fights he put on Ian. He was the first one to fight Anderson Silva. You know, he wasn't scared to fight Anderson, not at all. He I'm I'm sure he watched tape. I'm sure he he, he um he, he, he watched him, um watch his movements and, and what he does and what he doesn't do, but he did his best. He came out swinging and ended up on the uh, the uh, opposite end of a good result uh, with none other than Anderson Silva so uh, Anderson Silva right now I swear I have him I, I don't like him I, I don't like him as a person but he uh, to me he is the uh, he's the number one pound for pound fighter on the planet earth right now I think he could whoop anyone's ass anybody pick somebody go ahead
Think of your best friend. Think of uh, some guy you think is tough to get back on the street. I guarantee Anderson will whoop his ass. And uh, yeah, by the way, uh, I apologize for the um, uh, white boy fro look, but um, I just got out of bed and uh, uh, some, some crazy stuff happened to me tonight. So um, leave your um, comments um, below. Do you think Lehman should be suspended for an entire year? Do you think he shouldn't fight until late 2012? He fought twice in two weeks. Uh, he fought Simpson and he fought Akiyama. Uh, when the UFC calls, Chris Lehman answers. And when he answers, he's ready to brawl. He's ready to fight. He's never backed down from a fight. I can't recall one time that uh, Dana White bitched about uh, Chris Lehman not wanting to fight. Uh, he, and he came into the, both of those fights and uh, dominated. And uh, I love you, Chris. Um, as um, as a member of Narcotics Anonymous myself, um, I hope you uh, hit some meetings, and um, and I hope things work out for you. Uh, big, big, huge fan of your fighting style. Um, I mean, I've been a fan since um, since the Ultimate Fighter one. So uh, let's see if uh, Chris rebounds from this. If he can maybe possibly fight before the end of 2012 we'll see uh, only time will tell and uh, only Uncle Dana and Chell's words can uh, can make it happen um, so uh, please leave your replies below and um, my prayers and uh, my thoughts and prayers honestly go out to Chris Lieben um, 